The Duchess of Cambridge is known for recycling her favorite outfits, sometimes years apart, and she once again dug into her royal closet for Tuesday's special first ever joint outing with Queen Elizabeth at King's College in London. The Queen usually chose to wear bright colors so she can be easily seen, and today was no exception. She wore a pink cashmere coat by Stuart Parvin and is said to be wearing a dress that features shades of grey underneath. But, the Duchess of Cambridge was smart enough to do the opposite as she stood at the Queen's side, opting for a grey fit and flare coat dress by one of her go-to labels, Catherine Walker. Kate wore a very similar design from the same label in Leicester back in 2012, but this new design was missing the buttons and had an added belt and black collar. She also put on a Sylvia Fletcher hat, which was the same one she wore when she last had a royal engagement with the Queen, visiting the city of Leicester together in 2012 during her Diamond Jubilee tour of the UK. William Hansen, etiquette expert explained to Mail Online, Formal day dress always requires a hat and the Queen is rarely seen in public during daytime events without one. Catherine will undoubtedly have known that a hat was required if she wished to keep in the royal good books. But it wasn't just a hat that the Duchess sported to keep in the Queen's good books. She also wore black tights, instead of her normal sheer tights and allowed the Queen to exit the car first. Hansen adds about the Duchess, as a future Queen. She completely understands the role and her current place in the royal pecking order. At today's engagement in London she followed the royal rule book, as usual, to the letter. Kate is normally pictured wearing sheer tights with her dresses, such as at this weekend's St. Patrick's Day Parade and even last month she paired a blue dress, in Ballymena, with sheer tights. By wearing black tights perhaps it was Kate's way of showing her more traditional side. At the Queen's Jubilee, in 2012, when Kate was pictured following her out of the car, she is seen with bare legs, so it could be a fashion faux pas she wasn't keen to repeat. Hansen also revealed that her choice of dress was also a respect to the Queen. It's interesting to see that the Duchess of Cambridge wore a more muted mid-grey dress, that at times blended into the surroundings, allowing the Queen to stand out and take the main focus. The Duchess of Cambridge also kept up tradition when it came to exiting the car. Even though she was sat in the closest position to exit the car first she allowed the Queen to. It is standard practice that the Queen exits the car first, adds Hansen, although strict protocol actually dictates that the most important person arrives last, but with only two seconds difference here there is no breach of protocol of note. I am sure both ladies worked out what was going to happen before it did. As they arrived at the event the royals also shared a blue blanket over their laps, something the Queen is known to do and the Duchess seemed happy to follow suit with the tradition. The Queen, who is patron of King's College, toured the facilities with Kate today and met supporters of the development. They also viewed a robotics demonstration, including robotic surgery, and a demo showing how sensors made from textiles can measure useful information about the body. Talking about how she changed her in style for today's joint engagement Hansen said, although some rules can be adapted on occasion, when appropriate, working alongside the monarch is not one of these occasions and I am glad to see that Catherine chose to play it safe. Later in the day the Duchess of Cambridge visited the Foundling Museum without the Queen and removed her hat.